native to the volcanic death world of Nocturne. The Surworm is a highly aggressive predatory organism. Surworms are long, serpentine creatures, with a thick segmented carapace that covers their back and torso. While they are reminiscent of ancient Terran snakes, Surworms, unlike true snakes, retain a number of limbs. The creatures sport three pairs of short, reverse-jointed limbs along their flanks, which are tipped with long, curved claws. These claws are perfectly suited for both tearing apart their prey and for digging. Surworms spend most of their lives underground, only breaching the surface in their pursuit of prey. To help aid the creature with subterranean movement, the head of the surworm is a distinctive arrow shape, which allows the beast to push its way through the dirt and ash of Nocturne's terrain. However, since their lives are spent predominantly underground, the surworm has poor eyesight as a result. Surworms boast an almost unnecessary amount of natural weaponry. In addition to the sickle-like claws that the creature can use to carve through soil and flesh with ease, the jaws of the surworm feature four rows of razor-sharp, slicing teeth, which can tear off a man's arm effortlessly. The creature also has three tendril-like tongues, each tipped with numerous barbs. The barbs along the surworm's tongue also secrete a potent, pain-inducing venom, which is used to help incapacitate their prey. This venom is even capable of affecting the warriors of the Adeptus Astartes. In addition to these, the long sinuous body of the Surworm is also a powerful weapon, as they can easily crush whatever creature they coil themselves around to death by shattering the ribcage and pulping the victim's internal organs. Surworms are also social creatures, and will typically operate in packs, though it is unclear whether these packs are made up of a single familial group or if they incorporate multiple Surworm families. Surworms also appear to sport something akin to a Jacobson's organ, allowing them to taste the surrounding air in order to pick up the scent of their prey. Once prey is located, the pack will tunnel through the earth and dirt towards their intended targets. Smaller prey is simply dragged underground and torn apart, while larger targets may instead be constricted to death by the Surworm's coils. While Surworms are undoubtedly a highly dangerous species, they are far from invincible. Not only are they susceptible to injury along the unarmored portions of their bodies, but if prey is aggressive and dangerous enough, then a Surworm may be dissuaded from attempting to finish it off.